My approach is to treat it like a, a normal live action drama and treat the puppets like they're real people. You light them as you would real people and you, you have camera positions and stuff. How much more can you do with like a moving camera, like dimensionally especially? Yeah. Well we've got a crane that we use, um, we've used quite extensively so we can do tracking shots and get in and out of the corridor sets, that kind of stuff. And dolly moves. I think they did that sort of stuff in the old days but not quite as much. I think their sets were quite small and uh, again they had restrictions with their puppets to prevent them from doing huge things. Yeah, yeah I'll let the hand come forward. That's the one. That's good. Uh, oh, you've got that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, good. We'll take her out. Uh, don't need any Guys, space. that's brilliant. What I'm trying to do as much as possible is to, obviously we're paying homages to a lot of the older shows and what have you, but we're trying to bring a lot of new filming techniques uh, uh, a more up-to-date filming techniques to the, the, the approach in filming the puppets and to a certain degree the miniatures as well. So that's what, that what I'm trying to do is uh, get the cinematography and, and the, the digital visual effects to work in parallel with the puppets and, and basically make them look like a 21st century version of the old Century 21 shows. It's, re it's really difficult because I, I don't want to suggest that we can try and match or surpass anything that was done by those crews in the 60s. Shows like Thunderbirds are absolutely you know, a magic combination and it's a really difficult task to try and kind of continue that legacy. There'll never be any replacing those shows, no way, but I think if we can kind of evoke the feeling that people used to get when they watched the Jerry Anton shows in the 60s, there's something at the core of it which I think is it, when people are watching it, they watch the puppets and they come to believe that the puppets are kind of given consciousness. It's not necessarily a, a conscious thing on the part of the viewer where the viewer's thinking, oh wow, how impressive. But it's the, there's a moment of transition when you start watching these shows where you, you care about the puppet characters because of the way life is breathed into them. And if we can kind of give that feeling to, to a modern audience watching Firestorm, then I think that's kind of mission accomplished because that, for me, sits at the core of all those Super Mario Nation shows and all the successful shows that Dad produced. Ready and action!